Hey, what's going on everyone? Big Bob, welcome back to King of the Week. Today we're in Hesperia, California. We're gonna speak with Dusty and check out his 2005 Royal King Classic. You guys stay tuned, King Life. What's going on everyone? Big Bob man, welcome back. Uh, we're right here and check out Dusty's 2005 Road King Classic. Dusty, thanks for having us man, appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, one of the things that stood out to me the most on your Road King was his emblems. Where, where'd you get those from? Uh, I ordered those online. Those are actually the ones that came on the 54 and 55 edition Harley. Oh really? Yeah. So did you have them made or there's something you could just pick up online? Yeah, just pick them up. I just ordered them. Nice. And, and this is an 05 classic, just like my Road King, except this looks better than mine. You guys see mine. But uh, uh, they're, what size is your front rim? I got 23 up front, 60 spoke, the stretch fender to wrap around it. And did some local stretch or did you stretch it? Oh, no, that's just the fiberglass front one. Okay, okay. So ordered that one online. Oh, so it, you can order the fiberglass yeah, already stretched? Just like that, yeah. Oh, so you guys, you guys looking for a stretch fender that you don't want to pay someone to uh, stretch it. You guys can order online, what, eBay or something? Mm -hmm. The seat is done by Ball and Customs out of Texas. And I, I don't know, we've never brought him out or uh, talked about uh, Ball and Customs on here, but he's all over Instagram, all over social media. He does awesome work. Yeah, super, super cool guy, always there. Every time I ask him any questions, even though he's all the way out there, right there answering questions for me. The and you did, uh, he done two seats for you? Yeah, he's done this one, the super low pro, and he's done another LaPera seat for me. And we'll show you guys that other LaPera seat right now. As far, and as far as like your bag, uh, uh, what do you, what'd you call these? Are these are bag guards. They're, they're, they're bag guards, okay. Mm -hmm. Like, they are the top ones and the side ones. These are still, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. And where'd you get these from? Because these are the line to eBay, and then the little shields here. There's little guards. And we'll get some more shots of this thing in the sun, probably. But this thing, this, this bike pops. Oh uh, yeah, so these are cool, man. And again, you guys, uh, I can't, I won't set up the links, but it's all a lot of the stuff Dusty did say he got from eBay, so you guys could check it out. Um, these lights, Dusty, these are bad, dude. Are these what are they? Other the 59 Cadillac lights. Legit 59 Cadillac lights. Yeah. Or those online too off eBay, and I know a lot. Of, I know a few guys who have them. You got to you had to shave the bottom or something. Yeah, I had to cut a little part out of it, and that's what another thing that Balling Custom helped me with. I just asked him because nobody out here really talks. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, and he just told me exactly what he did. So I did the exact same thing, and they've been good to me ever since. It doesn't take nothing away from the no, light. No, it's a stock light bulb. It's just the shield goes over it. Nice. So everything else is the same. And then you got the uh, uh, Samsons. Yeah, 42 inch Samson fishtails on the back. The Heritage brake light on the rear fender. Jesus. You guys, this bike is tricked out. I wish, uh, I always, I know I always say this, but I mean, I wish I could, you guys could see most of these bikes in person because these, the videos don't do these things justice. They're uh, beautiful bikes. Um, now you're, you got matching grips, passenger pegs. Mm -hmm. Shifters. And where are those from? Oh, they're off eBay too. I'm telling you. And then the uh, floorboards and brake pad are Eddie, Troda. Hey, Trota. Mm -hmm. Ordered those offline too. This is my little switch. It just matches this green for the air ride. Hell yeah. Hey guys, so I know a lot of us can't maybe afford the name brand um, accessories, bars, rims, um, grips, whatever, but it may be. You got eBay, you have other choices. Um, you know, there's different outlets you can use to buy your accessories and parts and this is a perfect example of what you can do and uh, it looks amazing Dusty it Thank looks you. amazing but uh anyway your shotgun here this little thing where'd you where'd you get that from they got that line too off of Instagram off of shotguns for Harley I think he's in East LA 
It looks real. Yeah, they're super cool. And I know I, I'll, I'll try to put the links up on all this, all these uh, guys, you guys, all the all the parts that. The only one I won't know is eBay, of course, but um, everything else we'll put up. Now, Dusty, your bike has like that old school classic car diner, whatever you want to call it. Look, was that obviously the look you're going for? Yeah, when I first got it, it was burgundy, so I wanted to go with the old '50s diner look on it. So we picked these two colors. My dad painted it for me. Nice. And then I went to my buddy in Apple Valley, Bugs, and he did all the gold leafing and striping for me on it. And it, it matches. It matches awesome. The paint. The whole scheme goes with that that look of the the '50s. And you guys can see the pinstriping bugs out of Apple Valley. And again, we'll put all this info. You guys uh, looking to get some work done? Um, you got the crown here by Road King Nation. <laughs> yeah, I got the crown finally. <laughs> there it is, you guys. We'll be coming out with those next year again as well. We stopped production this year for a little bit. Um, the mirrors. Yeah, those are the dirt bag mirrors. With the little visors on them and they if they believe dirt bag still has them available you guys and again you guys know dirt bags we, we had them on this show to set uh on uh tales of a king and they're out there killing it man the, the the little details like this coin is that something you just thought of or no yeah they, i saw them on a the couple of the old bikes so wanted to get me one or two do you actually use the change or is it just no i think back <laughs> in the day that was probably for gas because it does hold i think a dollar of quarters oh shit there, so okay something yeah that was back in the day if this were gas <laughs> yeah and you got the little moon eyes uh yeah memorabilia to add to the little bit of the old school now what was uh how long did it take you to build this or to um, make it how you how you wanted it I got it in 2014 and I've been doing little by little. I already did it over twice now. This is the second time that we've done it. Okay. We're getting almost close to where I want it, so. What, what else do you want to do to it or? A little bit of motor work, put the diamond cut heads on it, a little bit more chrome parts that I'm missing, and then just put some miles on it. <laughs> yeah, heard that, man. You and me both. Speaking of the uh, diamond heads, you guys, you already, diamond cut heads, you he already has them. Uh, they're right here. And they were done. You guys should all know this name by now. Dago Dane Engraving. Um, check him out. Hit him up. He's also been on the show. But uh, anything else you want to do to it while you have it apart? Yeah, as soon as I'm in there, I'm going to do the SNS cam kit on it. Give it a little bit more power. Will it get more of a lobe, too? Yeah, it'll cackle a lot better, too. Hell yeah. That's going to be good. You know, maybe we'll come back and hear it. Check it out. You guys use the uh, the torque pack a lot? Uh, not much. It's for the Laughlin and Razor Run, usually. Yeah. A little bit longer rides. I Meaning you pack some extra shit. Yeah. And again, bug bugs did it. The pin striping on this uh, on this bud leaf. It's a happy box. And then this seat, did the uh, uh, ball of custom yeah, did this as well. Did that pad too. Nice. And that's that's stationary, permanent. Yeah, it's for the other backrest, but yeah. Okay. It matches. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, it's, uh, damn, it's quick release. I, yeah, it hooks right on. So oh, nice. Okay. Gonna take it right back off. Do you gotta get different uh, uh, accessories? No, no, same one for the backrest and for the touring. Pad. Nice. Then there's so much stuff you guys you guys could do. Next year we want to, I want to do more uh, uh, not tutorial but more show you guys more things that you can do to your bikes. Any bike, not just road kings. Uh, so Dusty, I know you're not new to riding. You should, you you built bobbers and choppers back in the day. Yeah, a little bit of the Hondas back in the day. Made them into my bobbers and I rode those for a long time. But I always knew that I wanted to move up to a Harley. So right. eventually I finally got this one and started to make this one what I wanted it to be. Do you plan on going back to that? To that yeah, old eventually, school? yeah, I want my 70s chopper with a long front end on it. Hell yeah. Uh, eventually, they'll get that. Well, you did good on this bike, man. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you for having us, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you guys, man, for tuning in. Uh, it was a good year, crazy year, and uh, we appreciate all the love and support, man. You guys uh, have a happy new year. Stay blessed, stay safe. We'll talk to you soon. King Life.